The University of the West Indies is celebrating its 75th anniversary this year. Joining us now are Gail Gray Phillip, head of St. Kitts and Nevis University of the West Indies Open Campus, and Jane Williams, president of the St. Kitts and Nevis UWI Alumni Association, as we discuss the anniversary activities. Hey, it's you. All right. <laughs> so good morning and welcome to GSAM. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for having us. Oh, you're very welcome. Hi, Jeff. So I felt pressure earlier from my former teacher and uh, colleague here <laughs> to say to you, uh, she was like, you know, you're going to tell me you went to UWI? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, yes. Yeah, so yeah. You have to wear that Pelican pride. <laughs> Definitely so. So for the benefit of those who don't know, the 75th anniversary of UWI, when exactly was that? With well, UWE Day, um, January 7th, um, that's the start, uh, um, that's the day in uh, 1947 when the team would have had their first meeting um, to establish what was, at, what was then the University College of the West Indies, a branch of the University of London, right? We all know of the University yes. of London, right? So coming out of that, uh, we had the University College of the West Indies. Um, later then, we were established the University of the West Indies. So um, in 1948 was when we um, were fully established. And so we're celebrating 75 years. Awesome. Streamers, please. <laughs> <laughs> so right, um, um, in, on January 7th, huh? here in St. Kitts, um, um, the Governor General at the time, Sir Tapley Seaton, um, declared UWE Day. And um, that was done across many of the countries, um, in Jamaica, Trinidad, um, St. Vincent, name it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All the um, countries where we have a landed campus and um, we have a site. Mm, okay. Yeah. So we will speak now about some of your activities okay. that you have upcoming to celebrate your 75th anniversary. What can you tell us about those? All right, so um, also Jan January 7th, UWE Day was the official start. Okay. Um, on February 19th, we went to St. Paul's Anglican Church in Nevis, um, a small group. The, the plan first was for the planning committee to go over to Nevis, um, celebrate together. Um, it was their Heritage Sunday. Um, we invited a small group of persons, and um, so we, th that was one of the activities. And then coming up on March 28th, Tuesday, March 28th, we'll be having an interfaith church service, and that will be held at Wesley Methodist on Steel Street, um, commencing at 5.30. Yeah, I know about... We, we have many other activities, but let's stop there for now. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I know about that one because mm -hmm. the person to your left already contacted me for something in particular. Yes, on that I'm day. bringing you all to retirement. <laughs> yeah, time, for, right. time for Jamie to start singing again. <laughs> so we have invited, um, you know, dignitaries, um, mm -hmm. you know, to read the first lesson and second lesson, and we have a number of intercession, intercessionary prayers. Um... So we want to have all past students, current students, their families, their friends, oh. to come out and celebrate with us on the 28th of March. Okay. Well, that's going to be a lot of people. <laughs> I think that you only realize, well, you're a part of it, so you know exactly that you only realize how many people actually were touched by the institution yes, when yes, things yes. like this come around. Right. I don't think many persons know that at the open campus here um, in St. Kitts and Nevis, we have 269 persons pursuing their, their degrees with us. So just that alone will yeah. fill the church, right? <laughs> exactly. Right, right. And we have about 250 persons doing short courses with us. So, um, yeah, with, with that alone, but we want, there, there are many um, past students out there, uh, many at Central Bank from different countries. Mm -hmm. Right, I don't want to. So it's not just yeah, about um, yeah, handle, people from St. Kitts and Nevis being invited as well. If you are in St. Kitts and Nevis, whether or not you're a citizen or, you know, you, you, even if you're just visiting mm -hmm. and you just want to, to be in the presence of your fellow Pelicans, mm -hmm. it's, an, it's an opportunity. <laughs> oh, there's a message in that. Pelican, Pelican. I'm feeling a little, a little jealous of the three of us. <laughs> 
I may, I may not have attended university, but I had the privilege of staying on the campus. And it was a nice feel. It was a nice yes. look. People thought I was a student. And I was like, oh, no, little old me is just a little tourist. Okay. I'm not a student. So I did get the opportunity. But, but you have a lot of opportunities, yes. even mm -hmm. here with the short courses. Or if you decide to start doing a degree, U is most definitely an option. Wow. There we have it. Yeah. Can I say it's the only option that makes sense? Ooh. I'm not going to have I'm any arguments with anybody. I mean, I'm just saying we, we, we oh, feel yeah. very strongly about UE, um, and I'm sure others feel strongly about their schools as so, well. Yeah. Jihan, this question is for you. You had the choice to maybe go to Europe or the US. Why did you choose to stay in the Caribbean? I never craved the U.S. experience. Okay. I, I really didn't. Um, I wanted to delve deeper into the region. I feel like uh, that's one of the things that a lot of students grow up with, this desire to go and live in the U.S. And, um, you know, the, I never did. Uh, I wanted to understand deeper our society because I was very adamant that I was coming back home as well. I didn't have, I've never had a desire to um, live or work overseas. Uh, well, at least at that time, it's, it's changing a bit now, but, <laughs> uh, but I, just, I just wanted a, a real Caribbean experience so that I can understand the region better. I'm very um, region minded as well, wanting to build the region. So we can't build the region if we don't understand the region. And then if you go, you go to a US institution, you come back with US principles or US teachings. And no, I wanted to, to hear my accent. I wanted to see um, my people and eat different Caribbean foods because as close as we are, you know, yeah, it's yeah. so much diversity mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and why go somewhere else? Uh, I knew I wanted to do a master's degree in the UK okay. or Europe, but um, I've never craved the, the US experience. Okay. And I, I feel like the Caribbean experience is really one that is unmatched. Ooh, yeah. la, la. And one of the things um, having gone to you, we, you have a friend in nearly all the, Every country. all the countries. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yes. Anywhere, you know, yeah. Friendships all over. Yeah. And I could relate to what you said, Jan, about, uh, you know, being connected to the region, because that was the reason I chose to go to UWI okay. as well. Mm -hmm. I'm like, mm -hmm. we're in St. Kitts, but I feel so separated from the yeah. rest of the region. Let's yeah. find out about mm -hmm. Renewers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That experience yeah. is rich yeah. as well. And U is the number one university in, in the Caribbean. Facts and that's and not stats. just me saying, right, yeah. right, right. Stats. Yes. right. Yes. Times <laughs> higher education yeah. um, would rank universities globally, yeah. ranked U as number one in the, in the Caribbean. And we're in the top 1.5 percent yes. in the so 3 Latin America and, and, and the Caribbean. So yeah, and compared to 30,000 universities, right? Yes. I said, what? No man. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, yeah. you, know, if, 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 you know, if other schools yeah. want to argue about being the best, <laughs> we have we, <laughs> we have, have we have some facts and yeah. 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 to yeah. support. Yeah. What you're saying. Uh, that sounds indeed. like street fight to me. Yeah, indeed. Okay, so on the third. Of March, we have the Sir Proven and his lecture. Right. What do we have to look forward to? Then? Okay. So on the thirtieth of, of March, um, the Sir Proven and his lecture, as you said, is going to be streamed via our Open Campus Facebook page and the UAE Open Campus Facebook and YouTube um, pages. Um, it's part of the History and Heritage Month of activities. Our guest lecturer this time is Professor Jessica Byron Reed, a native of St. Kitts and Nevis, um, was a director at UAE in St. Augustine and a lecturer at UAE Mona. Um, so we are excited um, about that. It will be facilitated um, hosted by um, Shamalon Kirby, um, graduate also of UAE. And we will have remarks from persons from the Brimstone Hill Society, myself, etc. So we're looking forward to, and to that. And what's the topic? The topic. Um, the topic is for the Her Eastern Heritage Month is uh, celebrating 400 years of creativity and ingenuity. Oh, that's yes. Brilliant. Yeah. So we are we're looking forward to that. Yeah. No, yes. I am too. Really. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. So, Jan, what well, can you t Okay. Go ahead. We're going to say we have other activities. Uh, Jan can yeah, speak to somebody else. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what can you tell us about the Lunch and Learn series? Yes, okay. I am excited mm -hmm. about the Lunch and Learn series. Uh, mm -hmm. It was an, an idea that Gail actually brought to, to the table, and I thought, this is excellent. So, the Lunch and Learn series mm -hmm. is... Um, a, a session where we're going to invite a UE alum or someone who, uh, speaking of a topic mm -hmm. that persons might be interested in, it's going to be on your lunch hour. So there'll be a presentation, say, um, for 30 minutes and then an opportunity to ask questions. Mm -hmm. But it's going to be on topics of interest. Uh, so it's an, why I love it is because it's an opportunity for UE alumni to present their thoughts and present, present their ideas, maybe even research mm -hmm. in this sort of setting where people you can join from at your desk because um, it's going to be virtual. So mm -hmm. you just tune in and you can hear a bit about a topic. Uh, so it's it's a chance for us now to really show the world what we, we've learned at UE. So if you've been doing research on you know, culture and, and in ingenuity or science or history, if some anybody is interested in, in doing the one of these sessions, it's a chance for them to present. It's an opportunity for you to also have a recording of you presenting if somebody wants to then start building, you know, a social uh, presence. Mm -hmm. And you, it's an opportunity now for you to get feedback, no cost, no charge, no pressure. You pick your topic, but it's an opportunity, as I said, for us to learn while we have lunch. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. I like that. And of course, the idea had to come from a seasoned educator. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, most of some of us, you know, while you're at your desk, you might, you know, watch something on YouTube yes. or, or, you know, watch something on TV. So it's a chance mm -hmm. while you're just there. Having lunch, you can mm -hmm. learn something. To learn, learn something. Learn something. Mm -hmm. Correct is right. So mm -hmm. we'll, we'll, we're making that appeal to interested UE alum as well. If you are interested in uh, facilitating one of these sessions, yeah. that you can just reach out to us. Yes. I'm sure there are lots of lawyers who have things to say. <laughs> <laughs> I like lots the of lawyers. I like Funny, you yeah. know, and, yeah. and, and then we, we, we have so many people doing sciences mm -hmm. as well. Um, mm -hmm. That might be an area that you want people to to know about mm -hmm. your research. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's just a, a platform, us offering a platform for nice. UE alumni to to have that opportunity. Excellent. When does it begin? Well, we're hoping we're, for April. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. We're hoping to have a. It's a series. Yes. So we're hoping to start in April and um, have at least four of them. Mm -hmm. At least. Yeah. For, Throughout for the year. year. Throughout the year. Yeah. Okay. Great. This is all very exciting. You're taking me back to school. Why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? I've got the itch now. All right. So let's talk a little bit about the history of the open campus here in St. Kitts. When was it established? Well, the, the well, building, the building, in building. Kitts? Well, it's got to be the building because oh, open is open. The building is, was, building was yeah. long time. <laughs> I don't know about the exact date, but uh -huh. it's long. Yeah, uh -huh. we're, we're currently um, in need of repairs. I don't know if you passed recently and see where... I did, some yes. repairs on the roof and yeah but even for the building mm -hmm. um ue has had a presence here in in st kitts and nevis for um for a long time i gather there was an office on church street or somewhere around there many many years ago until um we got the the land and 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 have the building there for for, for quite a while okay. i need to find out exactly the year but <laughs> <laughs> yeah so we have a presence here and um our site here and we serve st kitts and nevis mm -hmm. right so the as you know um university we have five campuses so there's a campus in jamaica there's a campus in Trinidad and Trinidad St. Augustine. There is Cape Hill. Of course, of course. please do not forget. <laughs> <laughs> and then the open campus, which is our virtual campus. We offer our programs online. And then um, our baby sister is oh, Five Islands five in Antigua. Islands. Yeah. <laughs> um, that was established, I um, think, 2019 or yeah. you know, yeah. um, most recently. So the open campus was established in 2008. Okay. And um, right, so right, so we would have transitioned from face to face versus coming to the site to do um, their programs or their courses via teleconference and some face to face um, teachings, and then we're now fully online with all our programs. I love that. Yeah. Talk about development. 
Yes. Right, so we cater to persons who are adults working for whatever reason, you cannot leave to go someplace. Um, so you're right, so we cater for those persons. So you get up at three o'clock in the morning or whatever is convenient for you to get your work done. So you study anytime, any place, right? Anywhere. Mm -hmm. Okay. We, 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 find that, <laughs> we, we, we find that we're having um, younger persons joining, taking advantage, of it. Right, wow. taking advantage and, and pursuing their studies full time. Mm -hmm. So they're not working, mm -hmm. but pursuing their studies full time with the open campus. We're finding more of that. Yeah. Yeah. Is it because it's more affordable? Is that one of the reasons, do you think? Yes, you well, you're eliminating the travel costs, right. yeah. um, mm -hmm. accommodation costs, yeah. because mm -hmm. you already mm -hmm. um, at home. are at home. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah. so mm -hmm. and those, you know, are two very big yes. costs. Yeah. Uh, and increasing. When I heard you mention three o'clock, I was going to tell you there was like a, a hidden joke in there because uh, when the, the former registrar, I think, of CFBC was joking. She was saying, when it comes to UWI, if you've gone, you know that you're the one sending emails at one o'clock in the morning. Everybody will know you went to you for you doing your work. So, all right, as we look back on uh, some of the accomplishments of the university over 75 years, are there any things in particular that we should note? Oh, we, um, if you look at a lot of our leaders across the region <laughs> and here <laughs> in St. Yes. Kitts and from Ubis, UWI. Um, they're, they're, they're from UWI, graduates of UWI, mm -hmm. right? So we have produced a lot of critical thinkers. I think right. one of the things that's notable as well is the, the growth of the, the programs as well. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Things were very, you know, the usual science, uh, history, math, mm -hmm. law. But then even at Cave Hill now you have creative studies um, moving into the, the realm of understanding that arts and creativity, these are areas that we have to explore on an academic and professional mm -hmm. level mm -hmm. as well, even though for us it's commonplace. Singing, calypso, theater arts, all these things are things we do on, on a common level, but no, the university, again, recognizing us and our skills and our talents are catering to, to people that way. So I think the, the university has continued to grow according to how the region grows mm -hmm. and it, it affords people the chance to um, explore those areas on an academic and professional mm -hmm. level. Yeah. yeah, during COVID, um, when persons and schools and, you know, had to go online, you know, it was instrumental in helping a lot of the governments, mm. ministries of education to transition their programs mm -hmm. to to online, you know, we have expertise in almost any area during COVID, <laughs> <laughs> etc. Right? The theme, oh. the, the theme. Um, I'm wearing my shirt. Oh yes, today. you are. Rooted, mm -hmm. ready, mm -hmm. rising. Mm -hmm. Right. So we're rooted here in the in the in the Caribbean, yeah. where we have set our base here. Yeah. Right. And as Jan indicated, um, you know, that's the place to go to integrate with with the Caribbean and yes. learn more about the Caribbean. And as she said a while ago, we are ready. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. we, we are ready and we are rising. She also mentioned that, mm -hmm. right? So we, we are not just um, stagnant here, but um, we are improving on our programs, um, improving on our models of delivery and, and all of that. So yes, mm -hmm. so that's, that, that's us. Rooted, ready, and rising. Ready and rising. <laughs> oh, I can vouch for that because right. when COVID came, it was as if there was no break. It's like we're going to be online, yeah. and we were, and yes. it was seamless. Yes, yes. It's, yes. It's, you know. Yes. So yeah, visionary, mm -hmm. yeah. definitely right. Mm -hmm. All right. Any final words before we go? I just want to encourage our pelicans out there who. Um, <laughs> are in St. Kitts and Nevis, whether or not you are a citizen of St. Kitts and Nevis, to join us for the interfaith service on the 28th at 5.30 at uh, Methodist Church. And also please reach out to us if you are one of those persons interested in the lunch and learn series. Mm -hmm. and we, we, we know that there's so much academic excellence coming out of, of UE, and many persons perhaps don't get the opportunity in their everyday work life to express the thoughts and the ideas that they have um, and that they're passionate about. So we're giving you that opportunity. We want it to be us, you know, it, it really, it, giving anybody that, that opportunity. Of course, we aim for four, 
but we would still love to be able to right. to have this at least once a month and mm -hmm. continue it mm -hmm, even mm -hmm. past this year mm -hmm. once people are interested yeah. so it's it's a chance for us to shine now yeah. and we're we're giving our alumni that opportunity so if there's an alumni maybe there's a a topic or or or, or um you know a thought lead leadership issue that you want to have you know expanded on or discussed you want to share your views we want to give you that opportunity yeah. i want to add that persons can um contact the local site mm -hmm. at 465-2190 or email us at st st dot kits k i t t s at open dot u -E dot edu and we can easily get you link you up with with jan or update you on on um what's happening we have a form where we're using to collect um information on um, past students so we have a database to be able to get in touch with these persons and to say that um the activities are not limited just to past students but to current students we are trying to organize a social event for current students and also for for past students in april we plan to have a tree planting on earth day and other activities that we, we have planned and persons who are willing to assist us because we have it's a small team mm -hmm. and we need help so persons who are willing um, whatever your expertise that you want to contribute to us where we, we, we are waiting for you with open mm -hmm. arms <laughs> something as simple as graphic design so yes. that we could do flyers yeah. um if you just like to plan event management mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you want to get involved somewhere uh yeah we're yeah, open we're open yeah, yeah.